So welcome back to another video and as part of our painfully boring series on open vent and regular boilers, it's now time to feature this Worcester Bosch RI regular boiler. Hold on, it's gonna get crazy. Just before we head into this video, if you are in the market for a new boiler, then head over to heatable.co.uk where you'll be able to get a fixed price to have a new boiler installed in your home in as little as 24 hours. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest content as it's released. Okay, so this Worcester Bosch RI is the most popular regular boiler that we sell. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the most popular regular boiler in the UK. Wow, what an achievement, guys. Um, so basically, <laughs> not supposed to be silly anymore. We've been told off for being silly. Actually, that is an interesting point. If you do prefer the silly videos or you would prefer the boring videos, then let us know and comment below because obviously there's a constant debate in the office about should we eat pizza and pasta with a boiler and talk about its Italian roots or should we just talk about how the government has got a real challenge on its hands getting to net zero and how technology such as this could help. Okay, so this is a regular boiler, also known as an open vent boiler. Now, if you're unsure about what type of boiler you currently have, then we have done another video, which we can link to somewhere around here, wherever Jack puts it, and that'll be able to help you work out the type of system you have now. If you do choose to retain your regular boiler and you're interested in replacing it for a new one, then this video could be useful in giving you further information about this product. So a regular boiler is a pretty basic bit of kit. Essentially, all they are is a heat exchanger, a gas valve, a fan, and a control board. They're very basic because a lot of the components are external. So if you've got a regular boiler, you'll have an external pump that looks something like this one here, and some control valves in your cylinder cupboard usually, and you'll have an external hot water tank or cylinder. Because they're basic, they're pretty small. Usually a regular boiler will be in a kitchen cupboard somewhere and that cupboard will be pretty small. If you're going to change out an old one for a new one, they rarely don't fit because again, the components are pretty narrow and everything is quite compact. This boiler is very shallow and not very wide. So Worcester offer this product in a wide range of power outputs and they are 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27 and 30 kilowatt. Now the best way to match up which one is going to be most suitable for your home would either to be, done it again. Now the best way to find out which one is most suitable is you can do one of two things. You can look at your existing boiler and match the new one to a similar output of your current boiler, or we have a pretty basic calculation here at Heatable, which is we use 1.5 kilowatts per radiator, and then we use between three and five kilowatts for your hot water cylinder. Obviously, if you've got a large hot water cylinder, maybe 200 liters, then you'd use the five kilowatts. If you've got a small one, 100 liter or so, you could use three kilowatts. Add everything up together and you'll get a total output. If you do spec it too high, there is a little risk that you can use more gas than you need to. However, these boilers are modulating. What that means is the output that you see, so 18 kilowatt for example, which I think this one is, is the maximum output. That boiler can work at different levels depending on the load. When you first turn your heating system on, the boiler or the system will be cold. Therefore, it might ramp straight up to 18 kilowatt and work at that until the temperature of the entire system starts to rise. As it does rise, the boiler will drop down in power outputs until it can get to its most efficient setting. So 
The kilowatt that's advertised with the boiler is the maximum and that's to get the system up to temp. Once it's there, it will range rate right down to be more efficient. So the warranty on this product is actually called a guarantee with Worcester and that's because they guarantee to fix it irrespective of the circumstance. So it's a little bit more sort of all inclusive than a regular warranty you'd get with an alternative manufacturer. And they offer it with a 10 year guarantee and this is parts and labor. So something to bear in mind with this is obviously your guarantee is just on the boiler itself. If you replaced your boiler and in a year's time or six months or three years or whenever your pump failed or your control valve failed, you wouldn't be able to ring the manufacturer and get them out to come and replace those for you. What you might think is my boiler's gone off or my boiler's not heating my tank anymore. If they attended and diagnosed it as a control valve or a pump, then it would be something you'd have to get fixed by an external plumber. Um, it wouldn't be covered under your guarantee. If something in the boiler broke, absolutely, they'll replace it for you free of charge. So controls wise on this boiler, it's pretty basic. You've got an off and an on. You've got a reset down here and you've also got an overall boiler temperature. Obviously, you can't control the temperature of the hot water and the heating separately, because this boiler just produces heat. Some of that is pumped around your radiators via the pump, and some of it via the control valve goes to your cylinder. It can't differentiate between the two. You've just got an overall setting. So I hope you're enjoying this video so far about this Worcester Bosch RI boiler. Please do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do lots of content around boilers, smart control and general efficiency tips. And comment below with any questions you've got, although please don't abuse us. So what's the overall efficiency of this product? Well, it's about 90% depending on how you look at it. A question that comes up all the time from our customers is what's more efficient, a regular boiler or a combi boiler? Now, the official efficiency of the product alone, standalone, would be the same. The differences would be in your overall system. Obviously, with this boiler, it doesn't produce hot water on demand. You'll have a separate tank for your hot water. Where you get some efficiency losses with a system like that is that if you boil water and store it, you may or may not use it. And also you get some thermal loss through your tank. So if you have got a regular boiler, it's worthwhile making sure that your tank is insulated and that you're timing your programmer correctly so you're not constantly boiling water, which you don't use. Tell you what. Tell you what, it's nine and a half thousand pounds. That's all saying, yeah. Jesus Christ, I'm not making hard work. And the dog's here, rabbit. Obviously, we've got the case off this boiler now and we can see how it works inside. So, as I said before, they're pretty basic. We've got the heat exchanger and this is the same kebab heat exchanger that Worcester have that's in all their popular products. You've got a fan and you have a gas valve. So like I said before, the pump and the control valves and all that kind of stuff is external of the boiler. There's only three major components in here, plus the PCB. So these boilers still have a control board because obviously they've got lots of sensors measuring temperatures and that's what manages that range efficiency that we discussed earlier. Heat exchanger inside of a Worcester is an aluminium alloy. It's their own patented technology, very efficient, and obviously it's got the guarantee the same length for the boiler, which is 10 years. Can't really think of anything else to say, to be honest. Pretty boring. So 
So we hope this video has been useful in giving you some further information about this open vent regular RI boiler from Worcester. If you are in the market for a new boiler, then head over to heatable.co.uk and we'll be able to give you a fixed price to have one of these installed in your home in as little as 24 hours. Thank you.